everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to the lovely Angela, I'm going to be doing a taste test from Singapore. So, this is what she sent me. Sorry, I'm really excited. Let's have a look. So, she's listed some things here and she's told me what the ingredients are, but I'm not going to look at that because I don't want to cheat. I like to see if I can guess and then get it wrong and then have like a thousand people tell me I got it wrong. She's also sent me like a cool little present thing. Souvenir from Bangkok. <gasps> what is it? Oh, that is so cute. Oh! Angela put these post-it notes on all the different products so I could work out what was from Singapore and what was from Thailand. So the post-it notes had one job, which was to stick to the product so I could work it out. On transit, they just decided, you know what, let's mix it up a bit and just get loose and just get loose. <laughs> They just went all over the place and they didn't stay on the thing. So now I'm just guessing. Now first up I have some lemon crisp which she's actually already sent me before. I will leave a link to that taste test somewhere here. But she sent me these again because I did love these so much. I got two different bang bang bars. That does not sound right does it? It's got English writing on the front of it. I think these are from Thailand. That looks kind of like Thai writing to me because you know how Thai writing's just it's very round. This one's a double chocolate, double caramel, bang bang. Try saying that. Ooh, look at it. Bumpy looking thing. So it looks like it's got rice puffs, rice bubbles on the outside. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. This one is seriously delicious. It's got vanilla wafers in there and it's also got some bits of caramel as well. It's coated in chocolate and it's got rice crisps in it. The inside tastes a little bit like a picnic bar, like a picnic bar minus the peanuts but with rice crisps instead. Have you got that? A lot of sign language there that will confuse a lot of people. Really delicious and really light and tasty. Are you ready for another bing bing? I bet you are. This one's a hazelnut one. Goodness, I bang banged on the floor. Okay, so it looks like the other one with the Rice Krispies on the outside. Oh. Mmm. Oh, yum. This one actually tastes European. It's got a lovely hazelnut flavour through it, lovely wafers as well, that chocolate on the outside, a little bit of caramel in there as well. It's a really lovely flavour combination. So many elements and things in there that I absolutely love. And Angela sent me another packet of these ones which she sent me before too, which I absolutely love. They're like a flaky pastry thing. Really crispy, really tasty. Oh. Mmm. Hello. If you sit yourself down with some of these and a cup of tea, then you just don't even need human company. Just this. It's like plaited pieces of pastry that have like a really sweet sort of finish to them. Like a, what do you call it? What's that word I'm looking for? This isn't helping anyone. Glaze. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a glaze. That probably actually means something really bad. I'm probably going to have some mob of gangsters after me now for doing that. I've probably said some international pop a cap in my ass kind of thing. <laughs> for a beverage break and today I have a oh hood what oh white <laughs> white coffee I'm assuming that I just add water so that's what you get inside there so obviously that's a stirrer and that's oh, that's quite a significant bag of coffee it's massive does this just make one it feels like it makes several am I about to drink coffee for seven in one cup maybe <laughs> Oh, I saw the 40 there and I thought, oh, please tell me this isn't 40 coffees. Remember that time Cam had 40 cups of coffee in one? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Boiled water, in it goes. So there it is, it's just like a coffee with milk in it. I'm just going to pop this lid on because I feel like I've got to do this properly. Cheers! Yep. Yeah, it's quite a nice instant coffee. It actually tastes quite sweet. I don't usually have sugar in my coffee, but I'm okay with this being a little bit sweet. And it doesn't taste like 40 coffees, which is good. You don't know what's on the top of this lid. I'm going to show you what it says. It, it says power root. Oh, wow. There's so many things I could say about that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so 
So for an instant coffee, it's actually quite nice and it's sweet, really sweet. Next up I have these beautiful little pillow shaped biscuits and these ones are pandan egg rolls. Here's one that's already broken open and you can see it's got this like green wafer looking thing in the middle of it. Oh, they smell so good. And they're really light. Oh. Mm. Oh. They're beautiful, sweet, crispy biscuit cookie things. It's got this delicate, lovely flavour in the middle of it, which I'm guessing is that green sort of pandan taste to it. Pa Am I saying that wrong? Probably. Oh, oh. It seems like all biscuits from Singapore are really, really messy to eat. Really tasty though, worth making the mess for. And I love that it's got the two colours there, that it's got this little piece wrapped around it and then it's got that beautiful green stuff in the middle there. Really beautiful, delicate biscuit. Love it. Oh, it does say that, doesn't it? This one's called Nips. It seems to be quite a decent sized bag of things and they kind of look like they're M&Ms from the outside. The characters on the front look a little bit street, they look a little bit gangster. They probably used to hang out with the M&Ms but then they were too badass for them and they kicked them out. Oh goodness! Oh yeah, look at them! So they do, they kind of look, oh gee! They really do look like peanut M&M's. These are peanuts and raisins. It's a little bit of a minefield for those of you who either don't like peanuts or raisins. You just don't know what you're going to get. So you get five different coloured nips and let's try them. Peanut. Mmm. Yeah, they're pretty good. So it's got a candy coating on the outside, then it's got chocolate, and then it's got a peanut, very much like peanut M&Ms, which are very popular over here in Australia. I want to try a raisin, and I've got to guess which one is a raisin. I'm going to guess that that one is. Yeah, ooh, that's nice. I actually love that you get the peanuts and the raisins combined because it's a really nice combination, that fruit and nut mixture. Really tasty. Do they stain your hand? Yes. They do, they stain your hand, but it's worth it. Tora, this does not actually seem like it's edible. It kind of almost looks like there's a toy inside. Am I gonna get this inside? I don't know. And see that on the corner there? That's like Popeye the Sailor Man's brother, like his younger brother that you didn't hear of, because you probably moved to Singapore and no one talked to him again. Scissors, that's what I'm looking for, by the way. Someone's just gotten the toy. I wonder what it is. Is there instructions? There's no instructions. This is the sort of thing that kids can put together and I struggle with and then, oh, fire up. I just don't even want to live right now. So this is what we've got. These four pieces should be easy to put together, really. I reckon that goes together. But how? Oh, no. Fire up. Does this go in here? I don't even know what I'm making. It's really hard when you just don't even know what you're making. <laughs> I haven't got a picture. Because this isn't this, right? Oh. No, I'm going to open up this because I feel like this might have the answer in here. This is going to help me. Ready? No. <laughs> I guess you eat that and then you get the energy to make this. Far out. I mean, honestly. <laughs> you see how difficult life is? <laughs> no answers. Maybe this goes in here. Oh, look, 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 oh no. No, no, look, 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 I think I'm, I think I'm actually getting it. Oh no, this five-year-old's gonna do this. Yes, 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 look what I've got. What is it? No, what does this do though? Then this has to... You know what, this just makes me feel like I'm failing at life. <gasps> well, there's only a few places it could go, really. <laughs> That's not it. I really am starting to think that this is to do myself in with when this hasn't worked out. Maybe it goes, oh it does! I've worked it out! It goes in there. And you do that. I worked it out. I mean I probably shouldn't be that proud that I worked it out because kids can work it out, but still. So it's kind of like a kinder surprise. So the question is, do you get this for the treat or for the toy? I think you you get it for the toy. Got a very, very, very light coating of chocolate on the outside. The chocolate is just hanging in there. And then in the middle of it, it's kind of like a biscuit-like fluffy thing. I don't exactly know what it is. Mm. It's kind of like 
like a puffed rice treat smothered with a very, 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 very thin layer of chocolate. The toy itself is actually quite fun. How long are you willing to sit there and watch me do this for? Just let me know in the comments below. <laughs> She's also sent me this mixed bag of different sweets here. The Fruit Pluses she sent me before, and I really love these ones. They're really tasty. I won't try those again, but I, I, I want to try something I haven't tried. Let's try this one. What is it? Oh, oh, oh it's a chocolate thing. <gasps> Ooh, look at it. Ah, oh, it's hard. Oh. Oh, I don't know. It's a high candy and it kind of tastes like burnt brown sugar. It's a little bit like a toffee. It's got another flavour in there which I just can't pinpoint. So this one looks like it's a coconut one. Ooh, very pretty and glossy looking. Mmm, I like it. It's like a coconut Werther's. Yum. Dynamite Choco Field Mint Candy. Okay, so it looks like a mint on the outside. I'm really not convinced about the combination of chocolate and mint together in a hard candy. This might change my mind. It's got like a soft chocolate feeling in the middle of it and the hard mint on the outside. I like my hard mint and my chocolate to be separate. I just feel like I've eaten two things that I shouldn't have at the same time. Sassy candy and it's got a little tiny picture of a bear on it. Oh, this is a little tiny thing. Look how small that is. It's like the size of a coffee bean. It smells a little bit medicated. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Oh, what's this? It's a little bit deceptive putting the cute bear in it because you expect it to be like a good experience, but then, oh, I don't, I don't know. It tastes a little bit like root beer. And why does my tongue feel like it's going a little bit numb? <laughs> Have I just medicated my tongue? Oh no, but wait. As I'm getting to the middle of it, it kind of seems a bit like a uh, sparkly, a tacky. No, 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 I don't like what's happening at all here. <laughs> I know. So it's a hard candy and it kind of tastes a little bit like root beer. Concentrated root beer. As if 20 glasses of root beer have been put into that one little candy. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I think my tongue's gone to sleep in protest. <laughs> I'm just going to try one more. So these ones are called Tyrone. And on here in very small writing, it's like they've tried to say Tyrone and then partway through they've given up because they realise that it's a really small candy and you really can't fit it on there or something. Maybe it's some sort of cryptic message sent just to me. That's mint. Mm. This one's like mint and chocolate again. This is a very interesting bag of mixed candy. I really like the idea of this. I think this is one of those things where you kind of get a scoop full and you just don't know what you're going to get. Some of them in there are nice and some of them are, well, they're different. Next up, I have this one and this kind of looks like a Sailor Moon character a little bit. This is edible, isn't it? It's not actually lipstick, is it? Ooh, that's very cute. Is this actually lipstick or is it lip gloss? Am I going to eat lipstick somehow? Got a little piece of plastic here I'm just going to remove. No, it doesn't want to come off. Oh, hello, hello. Do you just wind it up like normal lipstick? Yes, you do. I'll pull here. It says it. No. It says to pull here, but all I've done is give it a little cape. Oh, get off. You serious? Get off. Oh, yes, dumb. <laughs> Getting the scissors involved here. Oh, wow. That's like a major struggle. Get off. So, oh my goodness me, it's even got a little mirror on the top of it. Does it actually work like lipstick? I'm going to try it. Hang on. No, it's not staining my lips or anything. Is this 
what's going to teach young children to eat lipstick? Some women wear a lot of lipstick and they probably do consume quite a bit of lipstick throughout the day. So it tastes quite nice and sweet, kind of tastes a little bit like strawberries. I guess it's kind of like just having a lollipop but like in a lipstick shape. And then when you finish you've got this beautiful little empty lipstick case which is actually quite well done because it winds up and down like a proper lipstick. I guess little girls would love it. Do I love it? Well no. Right now I'm just pretty much feeling like I'm a middle-aged woman that's lost my mind playing makeup. I feel that my life has just gone down a really weird path right now. <laughs> Thank you so much Angela for sending me all of these amazing treats and sweets. Mwah! I really appreciate it and if everyone in the comments below could thank Angela for sending me all of these treats because without her this taste test would not be possible. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.